Taurus. Let's get into it. We're gonna pull. Yeah, we're gonna pull from the Oracle deck first, and then we're gonna pull some tarot to see for the month of August what you don't see coming. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. For Taurus, please. August 2024. Whenever this may play out for them, drama free. All right. So there may have been a lot of drama around you. People starting drama. Drama queens and kings, okay? And you are blocking all of that. You ain't trying you ain't with the drama, you're not trying to indulge in the drama or be any around anyone who is trying to cause any drama. You're trying to sit in your peace. Good for you. Okay. A lot of masks may be falling off at this time. You may be seeing people for exactly who they are. Big clue is if they start drama, gossip, etc. <laughs> you already know what time it is okay and you may be taking off a mask and when I say that it may be like you know putting up with a lot of shit for a very long time and not saying anything but now it's like mask off I have to say something you're a drama queen you're a drama king I ain't with it <laughs> I'm moving on from this bullshit we have inhale and exhale at the bottom okay so again, stay your zen, do what you can to do so and stay away from that drama. For Taurus, please. For Taurus. For Bull Gang, collective of Taurus, please. <laughs> Fall down on the couch. Taurus, are you exhausted? Burnt out? What I be telling y'all, Taurus, you know I'm gonna get on you right now with love. It has to be balanced. You guys can tend to go so hard until you reach that burnout point. Before you reach that burnout point, balance that energy by some downtime. A nap, maybe. Okay, spa day. Whatever the hell it is. Just sitting your ass on the couch for a minute. So, time to slow down in that way to be able to rejuvenate okay to recover recharge your energy because if you burn out you ain't no good to anyone not even yourself i pulled two so okay so this came out in the pre-shuffle there is it says relieve the pressure and then this is like the do not disturb okay so yeah, a need to step away from drama by all means necessary. If there's something that needs to be said, say it. As you can see this hot kettle here with flames coming out. Also, relieve pressure, relieve pressure by doing things like that was on this card. If you wanna meditate, do yoga, go into nature, uh, watch a comedy show, laugh. Okay, relieve that stress and drama. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> so I'm trying to tell you not to try to tackle everything at once, all in one day. You may feel like, oh, I'm moving so slow. I'm not making enough fast progress. I'm telling you, you're burning yourself out like that. Um, I know with me, I realize there's a need for me to prioritize and actually make a list. As you can see, there's a little board back here. Make a list. Say, hey okay for one hour I'm gonna do this two hours I'm gonna do this even if you have you know a full-time job and you're working on something afterwards or even at your job prioritize give yourself a time frame to be able to get things done and when to get it done so time management just saying tomorrow's another day do not burn yourself out trying to get done everything done in that very moment or in that one day no, tomorrow's not promised, but you you can't burn yourself out. Do it and balance. Do it with balance. <laughs> and I just saw imagine and the other one said, let's be crazy. So for a lot of you guys, you're big, tapping into that imagination about what you want to create. They're telling you go crazy with it. Don't limit yourself. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, yeah, we have an energy here of uh, someone who started some drama. And they sorry, not sorry. 
See, not sorry. Okay. So, this is energy here towards of you being able to relieve that anger, whatever pressure, whatever hostility um, there is around the person that started this drama or that is an asshole. That sorry, not sorry. Cause look at this person again. Let me look at this person in the back. They looking like thinking like, wow, this this bitch really do that. <laughs> did they really do that? This person looking like, yeah, I did. And what? Sorry, not sorry. So there may be that energy around you. Do what you can to um, stay grounded and not let people trigger you. Try your best not to pop off. Hold on. Pretty much don't let people disturb your peace. When people do stuff anyway, that's what they want, a reaction out of you, right? Let's pull one more for Taurus, please. Do not panic. Okay. Do not panic. So, if there is a situation where someone has... show they ass or has come for you when you ain't stand for them please do not panic handle it in a mature manner two more for tools I deserve abundance Truly believing and knowing Taurus, you deserve that abundance, okay? In all areas of your life. But again, this balance that's required. You guys, some of you guys are very burnt out. You're burnt out. You are good enough as you are right now. Not doubting your self-worth. Not doubting yourself, period. If somebody's talking down to you or trying to make you feel otherwise. You're not accepting that. Not subscribing to that shit. Stop doing so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, some of you guys really feel imbalanced by doing way too much. And then we have this shall this too shall pass. Some of y'all, some someone may have come came for y'all, started some drama. The mask is off, you see they ass. Need to um I wanna say sit with it. But some time to recover from it maybe I guess process it um, I need for you not to panic I need for you to know that you deserve abundance you deserve an abundance of people around you who are good to you who appreciate you who are loyal to you and don't have that situation thinking that um, it's something you know, that's related to your self-worth. People can just be assholes and snakes sometimes. It is what it is. And, and then there's those Tauruses that are just doing way too much. Way too much. That you need to fall down on the couch. You need some downtime. It is what it is. Get organized. So get organized. Make a to-do list prioritize time management is key right now okay you are really gonna burn yourself out she's painting she's exercising <laughs> this is giving Kali energy like it's chaotic and I don't feel like any order is coming out of this chaos what else she doing here she's taking a phone call with one arm she's writing a book or something with another arm no, baby, you're doing too much. They say you're doing way too much. Okay. All right. For Taurus, for both gang. For August. What don't they see coming? For August. So I'm just gonna be um, from this spot right here. Burnout. If you don't, chill. Chill out, okay.
Okay, slow down, prioritize time management. Um, for others, this is someone showing the true colors, trying to bring in some drama or starting some drama. For tour, let's go gang, what they don't see coming, please. <laughs> the source please. What they don't see coming. Mm, okay. Mercury retrograde energy. Alert, alert, alert. The source, what they don't see coming. The source, please. <laughs> what? Let me pull, and then we're gonna get into this energy tour. Okay. All right. The last one just came out. What we have here at the bottom, the hierophant. So your energy. There's a need for you to sit strong in your energy. Okay. Structure, balance, grounded. For sure. For sure. Oh, poor dress. I popped it getting into it a lot. Okay. So, let me just look at these cards because some of these cards could be explicit, but it looks like we're all good here. Let me show you this spread real quick, okay? Okay, Taurus. So as you can see here, we have the Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Empress, all right? So this is your energy. All right, the Empress here. Very, you know, fruitful. <laughs> Very abundant. Sitting on your throne, doing you. There's not a cups here, though. It looks like there is somebody trying to return. It says, I, I'm back, bitches. Okay. This is someone trying to return. It could be a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is somebody trying to come in, uh, maybe with some type of gesture of love, or just trying to pop in the door like this here, like this man with all smiles. Okay, after there may have been some drama or who knows, but somebody is trying to return. There is going to be some decisions that you have to make. This person also may be trying to create some type of illusion gaslighting okay especially with all of these hearts here i see it's a unicorn so you know that's very rare so this offer could be uh not so genuine with the six of swords here okay um this could be advice for you to run like hell because <laughs> this we have this atomic bomb back here Okay, moving away from this person that is really trying to uh, resurface here. Resurface here. Okay, a need for you to move away from something. Baby, I'm tired. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I thought I was recording that whole time. But quite a few things came out. Clarifying the Seven of Cups, we had the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. So, to a sweet and short short and sweet um a decision that you have to make because for august you may have a lot of options make the right decision follow your intuition when doing it move towards what feels right because there's some of those cups that can set you back and there's some of those cups that can level you up okay big time have things moving the wheel could go either way with the decision that you decide to make uh, could be offered by a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Could be a lot of love offers also. Could come from, like I said, a fire sign. Or this could be around something uh, very passionate. Um, very spicy. Very, you know. This could be around someone that, you know, you really, really, really were into. But... They were just for the community, <laughs> but really around decisions. It's gonna what you're not seeing is gonna be a lot of options and big decisions to make 
that I say big because with the Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, it's like you see how he's about to shoot. Took that rifle and literally pow pow this uh, cigarette or whatever out of her mouth. Wrong decision, stupid decision, right? Um, so making decisions that you have to make decisions and you're gonna have to make sure that the right one to help you level up anything that returns from the past that is a black that um you know just ain't shit refuse reject decline move on a lot of this energy of things returning from the past Okay, the universe seeing what decisions, what choice you have free will that you're going to make. Are you going to go with the person who betrayed you or cheated on you? You're going to allow them back in your life um, that maybe juggled you in a third party? Or are you going to move forward and see what else there is out there for you? It's your choice. Not having those rose colored glasses on and refusing to let any drama back in your aura. I'll go ahead and clarify the um, the Empress and then we'll pull your token for you. I'm going to wrap it up. I cannot believe I wasn't recording it the whole time. We'll flip over here that I did not see. Probably when I was not recording. Queen of Cups. Okay, so yes. This could be a Pisces, Cancer Pisces Scorpio water sign or a gesture of love of somewhat. It could be a creative project as well or many or many options many options shop okay some of these options you will be telling to f off you're at peace you've taken the time to heal you're not letting nothing mess that up sitting pretty like the empress This is around something being offered to you. Now I gotta see who this Queen of Cups is. Queen of Cups, who's Queen of Cups? Could be a Virgo. The King of Cups. Jeez. Mm. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You're gonna have to look in to see if this connection or whatever's being offered to you. For some, this is a, literally about a person returning. Um, is this gonna be a return of burdens? And atomic bombs. You're really going to have to use that inner guidance to make that decision. That's up to you. Only you know. Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's the. For what the. From what's being shown, burdens, anxiety. Having you feeling trapped. Having you at rock bottom energy again. Mm -mm. There's a decision here that, or decisions, or options that you should definitely say no to. And then there are some that are going to be so good for you. So, what you don't see coming, decisions, options, lots of options that you're going to have to use your discernment, and it's time to use that intuition. Because there could be something that will want to set you back. You have the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Will put you in fear, anxiety, sleepless nights. Like, where this motherfucker at? Who he with? Or it could be a job that has you feeling very, that will have you feeling burdened, uh, overworked, in anxiety, trapped. Choosing the right decision, and I know you will, Bo Gang. Let's go ahead. We'll pull one from here as well for Taurus, please. I don't want to make this too long. Be 
sure if you are in need also for your spiritual supplies to check out the link to my store for Taurus please for Taurus this one's sticking out also <laughs> All right, teacher. Some of you guys have accumulated a lot of wisdom, okay? And protecting love underneath. Crystal vision. You guys see crystal clear on what needs to um to to be protected, guarded, cherished. We have teacher protecting love and crystal vision. Some of you guys could literally be teaching something. Um could be around crystals could be something spiritual but you're, this is giving me listen you're protecting your heart you're protecting your energy you're protecting love you've learned the lessons your third eye is open now two that came out here night vision and blocked depending on how you look at this card. So depending on how you look at the situation. We have a man here. No face, it's just like dark void. Can literally re replace that face with anything. So, oh, you might have to let these one hugging on. You are replaceable, baby. <laughs> I got plenty of options. Whether it be job, career, family, live, well, I don't know, whatever. Couldn't worry if it's in night vision. So being able to see, okay, like that nocturnal energy, being able to see through the darkness, being able to see through the BS, the bullshit. Through the mass, through the drop, you're, you're able to see. You're able to see in the day, in the night, whatever damn time of day it is. Whatever, um, whatever atmosphere it is, whatever situation it is, whatever decision, whatever options, you're able to see. You're going to be able to see clearly. That night vision on the ass. Give me another one. We're on this night vision and blocked. Sorrow and star. They're gonna be realizing a lot of things in August. Taurus. I see an owl. At the bottom of the deck, we have brother here. So this could be around a sibling as well. Intuition. God, I feel like I'd be on repeat sometimes. <laughs> Taurus, I keep telling y'all that intuition plays a big, 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 big part uh, right now. Big part right now. Someone trying to maybe block your intuition with this gaslighting and shit. I feel like you're much wiser than that and you will take the rose colored glasses off. Okay, or not even put them on. This is duality here. We got the sorrow card and then we got the star. <laughs> this energy, if some energies, if you let them return, will literally block this star energy do you, do you follow what I'm saying so you have to use your your wisdom and your intuition to proceed when people are coming out the woodwork 
things are coming out the word work options um what is the freaking word opportunities are coming out the woodwork okay think is this going to be a burden um will this have me feel sitting in anxiety will in the long term will it have me feeling trapped or will this person whatever it is the intuition is going to be it's going to be key i'm telling you it's going to be key so you got to keep a clear mind and then also when you don't get enough sleep or rest you move goofy out here i'm saying in general people even me if i don't get enough rest sleep you be moving goofy that's just how i go so i'm gonna get on y'all again that downtime right and relieving anxiety finding ways to do so whether it's art whatever a craft whatever it is that does not hurt you or anyone else yeah okay so really that intuition and um using your night vision to see through all scenarios so that you're not heading down this path that leads to sorrow, anxiety, etc. That not an allowing an option or something that you choose or let in to block you from being this star. To block your faith, your hope, your optimism. Period. Wrapping it up with this. The chorus, please. Like the Collective of Taurus, what we got here? Thirty-nine, eighty-two, forty-one. Hourglass. Time is of the essence. Okay, so that time management, okay, and I feel like they're saying time is of the essence in, in, uh, in regards to you not wasting your time on the wrong options and the wrong people and the wrong opportunities. That can set you back. Um, you know, if you make the wrong decision because you're not using your intuition or you're just not thinking rationally or you have those rose colored glasses on then you're like okay i chose this and now i got me sitting in the wrong predicament wasting time 82 medal of honor recognition people recognizing you people seeing you wanting to crawl back in <laughs> Offer opportunities, offer, offer love, options, whatever it may be. The Poonani, the big, listen, let me stop. YouTube. Okay. We got 41. Octopus. So flexibility, creativity, and multitasking. Now we spoke about this multitasking. Okay. So being creative, that's also going to help you relieve pressure. Find a creative outlet. Some of you guys are very creative. Being flexible, also going with the flow. We always talk about that. But with the multitasking, um, stressing, making a list of tasks for you, organization, time management, so that you're not burned out, burnt out, and you follow that to get things done in a more effective manner, right? And then also looking at these three rooms or these three tokens in combination, uh, the reward, the octopus, and the hourglass. This is giving me like, there's something that you really need to get to that is going to bring in some type of recognition and it is something that is creative for most of you guys. So don't waste any time, get to it.